Hey guys, Breach and I am back, and today we're going to start off with something a little different. Kind of a bonus episode, if you will. Peer down into the well. We're in coal in the underworld, and my dog is whining about something in there, so we're going to do this rather quickly. But I'm going to show off the Pachisi track. Welcome. One game of Pachisi will be one ticket. Would you like to try it? Sure. Please give me a ticket. You'll be given 25 turns to complete this board. Good luck! And so, roll dice. Basically, you roll dice and see how far along the board you can get. And we found 500 gold. Let's roll the dice again. This is a lot easier in uh, the 3DS games, that, or the DS games that it shows up in. Bear and Claw are an invitation to hell. Which means we get into a fight against stuff that we haven't really seen. At least the pair of birds are fleeing. And that salamander has me concerned. Yeah, he, uh, he hits hard. And it fleed. So we won! Yay! 6,000 experience for the hero! And we reached level 4. Heal all. Nice. And we can't really do anything yet, so we have to do this all in one little trip. One. Treasure chest, will you open it? Yes. Please don't be a mimic. We get a life stone. A life stone means if you die, it consumes the stone and just kind of brings you back to life. And an open field? Uh, yeah, well... Okay. It's always questionable what'll happen if, uh, if you examine. 500 gold? Sweet. Yeah, basically each of these squares does something, and, uh, yeah. Examine the current panel? Yes, there's a sign. Pick a path. Hmm. I'd like to try and get to those stairs there, because I'm sure that the exit is upstairs on this track. We don't get to go back. One, two, three, four, five. Please don't be an encounter. Bunny ears. It's an accessory. Uh, I mean, I think it helps out with something. One, two, three, four. Open the chest. Please don't be a mimic. Please don't be a mimic. We got a flea ring. I'm not really sure what that does. One, two, three, we get an extra turn. One, two, three, four. Oh no, it's a trap door. If you fall in a trap, your game is over. So you have to come back upstairs and do this. Upstairs we can see that... How many floors is this? There's the goal, and there's a chest there. Is there a super goal? I think there are two. Yes, there's the key door. And then there's the regular goal. And we want that key door. So, I'm going to play this a bunch off screen to get through that key door. And once I get up there, I will... Uh, show you guys what we're doing. I'm not going to make you guys watch me play a million games of Pachisi. But I do want what's on the other side of that door. So I will see you at the door. Okay, so I got here much faster than I anticipated and could not click record in time. But let's see what's behind door number key. Nothing there got a dog who's demanding my damn attention right now. And I have never seen any of the stuff behind the Pachisi tracks, so I don't really know what to expect. Bravo, you found the life ring. Put the life ring into the bag. Not really sure what the life ring does, so I'll have to look that up between now and whenever we come back and actually start doing stuff that matters. There should be one more treasure around here. Pending that I could find it. 
And it's the one I'm actually after. Is it up here? Yes, it is. The Gringham Whip. The Ultimate Whip. Which we will be giving to Justin. That is a, a precursor, because right now the fighter, I mean, he can, he can equip it, but, well, he can't even equip it. Damn. Regardless, I got something else in there. I got a dragon's robe, just because, oh, damn, that, that is nice armor, and I imagine that's resistant to all the stuff I want it to be resistant to. Yes, equip that. I may actually roll through there to try and land on the shop square again and buy another one. What does that do? Um, you cannot appraise items without a dealer. Okay, looks like I'm going to look on the internet here shortly. But now I'm going to uh, go do all of my class changing and grinding and all of the madness and we will... Uh, We'll meet you back to go actually make some progress. See you shortly. Okay, guys. We did some grinding. Justin got turned into a warrior and got given that Gringham whip. And I grinded until I had my hero and my cleric up to level 40. Just because that feels nice and safe. And I think it's going to be all the grinding we need. I don't know. We'll see once we get to uh, the end of the game. However, we have a dungeon to do. Now, I've really thought about turning my cleric into another sage, but I don't know. We'll see if I really need it, but I don't think I do. Just one of those deals that that's going to be another couple hours worth of grinding after I get the item to do it, and I just don't know if that's worth it right now with our current setup. And we're going to use Step Guard here. Um, I think our... Uh, I think our stairs that we want are down here. Mother, I always forget the damn phone. I think Chris is just starving for shoutouts in this series, to be honest. Because that was him. Bidding me about something. Yeah, and Justin... After we made him a warrior, just started skyrocketing. Okay, the moral of today's story is that when someone actually gets confused, hope it's not your damn sage. The only damage we took in that fight was Bakryu casting friggin' ice spears on us. Now, this floor I do want... Ooh, I get to explain something. These tiles change your directional input. So think of your d-pad, the up button, as being where the white part of the diamond is. So I step on it here and I press down to move in that direction. Step on this one, right, right, left, left. And I want this chest. The strength ring. I'm glad you're the one that took that, Justin, because guess what? you get to equip it. And you notice we have a whole bunch of strength seeds on Justin and everybody. It's because uh, those skull guns drop them as a rare drop. And uh, I was getting them fairly regularly. Man, that's just... Oh, shit. I have to go back across there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Always take those really carefully, because a lot of them will be next to pits, as you're going to see soon. And that's, uh, that's no fun. Now, is this the four I think it is? Yes, it is. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we got the light armor. That is going directly to our hero. Um, as soon as I, you know what, you can go to the bag. Justin's going to give our light armor to our hero. 
damn, look at that defense increase from the magic armor. And the light armor is also going to cut the uh, any incoming magic or breath attacks by two-thirds. It's either by two-thirds or two two-thirds. I'm not, I'm not entirely certain which. After we get our light armor, we just kind of want to fall. This takes us to the floor below. And we want to work our way around this way. Now, an NPC would have told us... An NPC would have told us we need to play our... Fairy Flute on the... Fifth floor of this tower. But as you saw, we only went up four floors. So we gotta fall off the fourth floor at the back and there's a secret little area here and be careful once again okay that will lead us up to the four up to the fifth floor and I think we have that same puzzle right oh no we don't we just get to go and this is the fifth floor I think we have to come all the way down here to do it Ooh, a palette swap of the lion heads, Leona's. We're in we're in good shape right now, though. I'm not too worried about anything doing too much damage to us. I mean, just look at how much Justin's doing group wide now because of that Gringham whip. I have zero regrets about changing you. And there is a statue. Let's uh, let's find our fairy flute for one, and let's play it. Ooh, stuff's happening. She must be one of the uh, one of the sages from Ocarina of Time, or one of the. Uh, the Crystal Sages from Link to the Past. Ah, it's a dream come true. You've saved me. I am Rubus, creator of Alephgard. To show my gratitude, I'll give you the Sacred Talisman. Please use that item to reach and defeat Zoma. I will be eternally grateful when peace is restored to our lands. We have freed the Goddess of the Realm. Awesome. But are we done yet today? No. I have one more thing I want to accomplish. And to do that, I'm going to return us to Tantagol, not Ludusrum. And I'm going to stay at the end here real quick, just because I don't really know what to expect in this upcoming cave. Didn't look at a map for this one. I know it's supposed to be short, it's going to have powerful enemies, and that we can't use magic inside. So. We may get to see fail like we did before. Stay tuned, viewers. But remember, uh, remember the cave that we just didn't go to in, uh, in the first game? Commonly referred to as Erdrick's Cave, and... Okay, this encounter it was a lot more interesting back when it was a challenge. This cave. Now, in Dragon Quest One, there's no enemies in here. In this game, however, well, you be the judge. Troll Kings. Uh, I have a feeling he's going to hit fairly hard. So hopefully, yeah. Cast Disperse. But magic is blocked here for both us and them, fortunately. So we don't have to worry about their spells, just their physical attacks. Now, we got to work our way to the northwest part of this. Now, I'm curious, just because Bakryu is not going to do crap for damage anyway. Oh, he's not even going to get to attack. I was going to see if our, uh, if our items will actually do anything in these battles. There's our stairs. Hydra. As you can see, it's kind of a, uh, a palette swap of the Orky. Breathes flames. Ew, that's... And he gets to attack twice. Awesome. Oh well, at least we'll take out this heavy-hitting troll. 
okay, our, uh, <laughs> our held items can still do that. So if we run into a group of enemies, I may just, uh, use the Sword of Kings. Or the King's Sword. And get an AoE spell off on them. Are we there yet, Ma? Okay, one of these chests has what we need, and one of them's a Mimic. This is the Mimic. You know, just in the off chance that uh, magic is uh, not blocked for the enemies, I'm going to use Rob Magic on him. Because the Mimics have some pretty nasty spells. Like party-wide death, things like that. Got a small metal, and of course it's the... Ooh, Archmage. Magic's blocked in here, so you don't really threaten me at all. <laughs> that was adorable. He gave some damn good experience for one guy, though. Bravo, the hero shield! Okay, so. Let us... Oh, that's a whole lot of a drop, though. Okay, we don't need this magic armor anymore, so it can go in the bag. Um, who ended up with that? You did, Bakriyu. You can't equip it. I'll give it to the hero. Fuck yeah, I want to equip that. <laughs> you shitting me? Um, <sighs> that heal shield is nice, though, on its defense. And the dragon shield... I'll make my decision before Zoma's castle. I'm going to give it to Toffin for now, even though she can't equip it. And because magic is blocked in here, we got to hoof it the way out. Not the uh, most appealing, but, you know, it is what it is. I don't think we're really under any kind of threat, so I'm considering just saying I'll meet you outside, but this has been a really short episode so far. Um, and I want to make tomorrow's episode the finale. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll stick, with, I'll stick with this while we walk out. I'll find something to say. Ooh, uh, salamanders. Not the nicest of enemies. And actually a threat. Toffin may end up biting it here. Um, if you die, you die. I'm sorry, Toff. I'll, uh, I'll res you whenever I can. But if you die, you die. Okay. You may live yet. Honestly, I'm not worried about dying on the way out of here at this point. It'd just be a nice, convenient warp. And unfortunately, I'd have to revive everybody, but it is what it is. Uh, let's put that heal shield to use, because... Justin, you're a damage dealer, and I kind of need you here. Yeah, this is a... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep this battle in, because we're actually at a threat of death. Uh, let's use that one more time with you, and you guys just kind of all punch him. Okay, all out. You need to die. Bye, Toffin. Maybe Justin as well. Oh, Justin. Justin made it. Sorry, Toph. You're going to miss out on a little bit of experience, and Bakri's going to kind of catch up to you. Just a little bit, though. Not uh, not too terribly much. 
almost there. And remember this uh, this dungeon for later. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? I was touching the goddamn stairs. You, sir, can go fucking die. That is some baby back bullshit right there, game. Okay. Um, Toughen came back to life. Yay! Um, you need a heal all. You need. You didn't need a heal all. While we're here, um, actually, let's uh, let's return to Lurastrom. I'm gonna go ahead and stay at this inn just because replenish everyone's MP. But I got two more stops we gotta make. One of which. I'm debating what would be the fastest way to even get there. Damn. Um, move, you fucking chode. I guess from here, um... Really now. Really now. We're going to all attack this Kragon. Because he gets to attack three times. And that kind of... I don't like this guy very much. Just because of what he did. Getting into an encounter as soon as we get on the ship. It's like the game doesn't want me to do this. Merking, you're next. Yeah. Yeah, how's it feel? Oh, you about to get whipped, son. You done. Let's go back to the castle real quick. Because there's something that I didn't grab that I can grab. And it's actually in the castle. So, I think castle was all the way over here and up. You want to do this on your first time through, so that you're not stumbling around, stumbling uh, There's a couple priests somewhere here. Is it you? No, not you. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about your song. Oh, wait. Is it out this door, maybe? There's supposed to be some priests. Okay, this guy. We get the fairy map. I don't know why it's a fairy map, but... It's a map, and it covers the Dark World. So we can actually do shit now. Which is nice. Like, it would be really obnoxious for me to sail where we're going without this. Because where we're going is the uh, southern tip of the Rimmeldar continent. And, uh... Well, the bridge is out to try and get there from the city of Rimmeldar, and the swamp cave hadn't been dug yet. So, we're going to have to sail to Rimmeldar. But additionally, we're going to have to sail to... We're going to have to sail to the island. Or, not to the island, to the shrine. Down there. Which is obnoxious. I don't know what it is about this little straight either, but the game always just wants to lag out as I'm going through here. So, that last fight made me rethink what I'm doing with Toffin's armor. Because right now she has that dragon robe equipped, which is great for breath attacks, but it doesn't do dick to magic damage. Which is kind of one of the major things that I want to protect her against. Like, yeah, physical attacks are going to hurt, but they're going to hurt regardless of what your defense is. Until we get increases. And that's not even going to matter in the Zoma fight, because he can get rid of all your buffs. 
Damn, we took some hits in that. Three Kragans all at once, and uh, they, they're just tanky as shit, man. Like, three attacks and tanky, it's like they're trying to get us not to travel by sea. But we're almost there. We'll see it shortly. Uh, nope. We about halfway there. There's the uh, shrine where we got the rain staff. Here we go. This should be it. I have no idea what kind of baddies are here, so we'll find out. Darth Bears. We've seen you before. You're not really that exciting. Yeah. So you guys are almost done. These guys were outside uh, Salmonosa, Salmoneo, whatever you want to call the town. And here, inside said shrine, welcome to the Shrine of Honor. Now it's time for the sunshine and rain to come together. Yay! We'll find a pot of gold! Or we'll just get a rainbow drop. Because, remember in the first game, you had to have the rainbow drop to get to the Dragon Lord's castle. Well, we have to have the rainbow drop to get to Zoma's castle because nostalgia. It's almost like... It's almost like the first game was just kind of a test bed for this game. And, I don't know, the, there are a lot of things about this game that just work. That, in the first two games... I mean, yeah, they have their uh, their charms and their qualities to them, but it just... Man, the hero is supposed to get another spell that he just hadn't gotten yet. Yeah, the, that last spot down there. I'm waiting for it to happen, because it's supposed to be a big one. But, we'll, uh, we'll see. Let's see, okay, I want to go around that little actually fuck it I'll just uh... um yeah they uh, they thought of this okay so false alarm let's uh let's go back to Mercado or Cantlin I'm going to stay at the inn, and I'll meet you right back outside. Okay, maybe Hawk's Nest might have been better, but it looks like, yeah, there's a way to go from the north side of here over to Rimmeldar. So, that, uh, that, you know what, fuck it, I'll take the, take the marsh damage. Okay, so we need to try and get above those mountains there. Which means... Hawk's Nest might actually be our better option. Okay. Last time. I promise. Because if we can go around... If we can go around this way... It should, theoretically... Should theoretically be faster. And... Okay. Okay, good. We can get through here, we just have to go through desert. Man, those Grand Titans are kind of chumps now. I had Goopies call in two of them, and they just kind of... Justin just took out an entire party of Wyverns. I may even leave that one in. Okay, so... We should be able to have a fucking high encounter rate is what we should be able to do. Damn. You'd think we were holding on to the Golden Claw right now, as fucking stupid as this is getting. Okay, we can see Rimmeldar. Can we get there, please? Okay, Metables. I'm gonna leave this in just on the off chance that we actually kill one. Nope. Nothing. Not only that, we took extra damage for our trouble. Okay, well, that's uh, that's the thing with Metabolts, is 
they love to run. And there is a sword here in Rimmeldar that you can use that'll give you a little bit better shot at him. And it is right up here. It is. Come on. Show me what you got. The Falcon Sword. Which really only blocker you can use and it's not that great. Clips of Evasion, we've had those. Dragon Shield, we done had those. Ogre Helm, though, is actually a bump up for, for Justin. I'm not sure what in the... A uh, Great Helm would be a bump up for both. Uh, let's go ahead and get one of those for... You don't have room, silly nerd. Let's get rid of some shit. You've got shit that I want to hang on to for next episode. You've got a Cloak of Evasion that we can sell, though. What else do you got? Um, strength Seed, Silver Rosary. Let's get rid of that Rockstar Ring. I'm not using it. I'm not gonna use it. Um, you know, it's served us well, but Justin's Gringham Whip is already outclassing the... Uh, It's already outclassing what the Thunder Sword can do, and we learned that our Sage and our Cleric can't use it. Okay, so... Item Management. Let's give you the Fairy Map. Because reasons. And now we can buy that helmet for both of you. God, everything down in the Underworld is fucking expensive as shit. Yes, I want to equip that. Paid a whole shitload for it. Of course I want to equip it. <clears throat> Justin, I'll have you equip that. I'll worry about selling their excess shit off screen. But yeah, Rimmeldar. It's uh, almost just how we remembered it being. There's lovers lost everywhere. There's an inn right here that I'm going to stay at right now. We never went back for the Silver Heart, but I'm not too broken up about it, because it basically just does the whistle effect that just that uh, Bakaryu has. Tomorrow, we storm Zoma's castle, we take the fight to the big bad, and we emerge victorious. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in and all the support. It means the world to me. Really excited about this game, and... I'm excited about moving on to DQ4. Hope you guys have a good one.